Michael Pope. People call me Pope. My car is an Audi A4, two litre turbo, front wheel drive. I'm a part of Audi Club Sydney, who's been very helpful with me modifying my car and helping me meet new people. A uh, member, Christian, came into my work one day at the petrol station and he um, just came in, he goes, is that your Audi parked outside? And I said, yes, and he goes, join my club. That's it, man. Went to every meet, haven't missed one yet. Group started about 2012. Um, yeah, about four, four of us started as a group. The group has grown dramatically um, over the last year or so. Um, everyone that has joined is quite um, open to the ideas of um, sharing their experiences and quite willing to attend um, our events. Look, the group is great, the community is great. Everyone who's joined the club recently um, attends most events, which is exciting, and everyone's quite keen on making new friends and uh, having a good community. My name is Hamza, Hamza Yusuf. <laughs> it's an Audi A5, 2009 model, uh, three litre diesel. Uh, actually, when I was in Hobart last year, when I was moving up, David Mai, another member of the group, contacted me via Facebook because he had a similar car, like he had the same car as mine, and he saw mine around and then added me on Facebook and said, you've got to join Audi Club Sydney because you're moving up. And then that's, long story short, that's where I am. So it started off grey. And the first thing I did to it was I changed the wheels to ADV once. Um, I thought green would be different, favorite color. And I was like, if I'm going to wrap it, may as well do something different rather than going like a black or a white or something. Yeah, um, so that inspired that, but then it was too green initially. So I had to fix that up. So hence putting the black stripes, black on the side, so added a bit of accents, black roof, that sort of stuff. I've changed the front bumper to Caratia, which is, from what I know, the only one in Australia at the moment. Because it's a diesel, it's really hard to get an exhaust to sound good without making it sound like a truck. And then finally, my biggest, my dream wheels, I got, I was working last year and saved up and saved up and saved up, ate nothing for like three months straight. And then uh, finally got the wheels that I always wanted. Um, so they're sort of been the biggest thing that I've, you know, that I've saved up for and enjoyed the most. I use it as a daily driver, so it's, it's reliable, it's comfortable, um, and it's amazing in the corners, being all-wheel drive, and that's what I enjoy it for. I'm not too much on the straight line or top speed or you know, around the track, it's not my thing, but just corners in general, that's, that's where it's at for me. So lowering it, being all-wheel drive. Um, being diesel, it's great for a daily because you know fuel consumption and you've got so much torque. I've tuned it as well, blow-off valve, um, and the tune, bumped up the torque from 500 to 733 newton meters of torque so yeah it's quite a bit which is great for a daily it moves on its own basically so that's great yeah good fun Time.